The operation indicated in this problem is subtraction. And so when we subtract fractions, we need to make sure that we have a common denominator. And indeed, we don't. The lowest common denominator in this problem is xy cubed. So I will use that information to help me write equivalent fractions, which is the next step. To do that, I will rewrite the fractions as they were given. And then I will multiply each of these fractions by a form of 1 that will allow me to get a denominator of xy cubed. Now, for this to look like xy cubed, we'll have to multiply by y squared. But of course, we need to multiply by y squared in the numerator as well. Over here, we have xy cubed, which is our least common denominator. And so I just simply multiply by 1 and 1. Simplifying each of these pieces gives y squared times 2, or 2y two squared. y squared times xy is, in fact, xy cubed. For the second fraction, 8 times 1 is 8. And xy cubed times 1 is xy cubed. Now that we have a common denominator, we should be able to subtract the numerators. So we'll have 2y squared minus 